y'all, it's American Mom. I'm gonna be reacting to Lost today, and this is gonna be um, episode nine. It's called Solitary. Uh, last week we focused on uh, Sawyer's backstory, but that's not his name. I'm ready to get into this next episode, so let's do this. <laughs> a bunch of threes. What does it say? Tripwire. Is this one of Mr. Locke's? <gasps> Ow. You're supposed to leave stuff in. Now you're gonna bleed. I swear to God, nobody listens to me. Oh God, I hate that. The blood rushes to your head. Hello. It's a common rash. Okay, it's brought good. on by heat and stress. Okay. Just try to relax. It'll clear up. Right. Dude, I'm just saying, it'd be sweet if we could have, I don't know, something to do. Don't be Alex. Yeah, Alex. What? Where is Alex? Who are you? Where is Alex? Where is Alex? Wait, is this now? No, this is I don't know what Where you're talking Alex? about. <laughs> Oh. Confess it. Confess it and perhaps it will only cost you your hands instead of your life. <coughs> that reminds me, sir. Adding to your increased responsibilities. Who is she? Are you going back out to hunt? For a bit? Can I go with you? I mean, I just want to learn how to do judo. What? I was just... I was just talking to Mr. Lock. I know what you were doing. Not gonna happen, man. Why is he being Please just tortured? listen to me! Okay. I keep telling you I don't know who Alex is. I'm a survivor of a plane crash. I found a wire on the beach. I followed it. I, th I thought it might have something to do with the transmission we picked up on our receiver. This is now? A recording. A mayday. With a French woman repeating on a loop for 16 He's years. He's hallucinating. Has it really been that long? Is this the French voice? You just happen to hear my distress call? I know what you are. What's happening? What is this place? Those batteries? They wouldn't be able to produce enough power to transmit your distress call all these years. Broadcast from somewhere else. But they control it now. They? You. And the others like you. How do you know my, my name? My name was on a jacket. Yours is on the envelope you carry. Hmm. Who is she? The woman in the photographs. Mm -hmm. Who is she? Nadia. You think she knows who orchestrated the bombing? Well, that, my friend, is exactly what you will find out. Oh, and then he falls in love with her. Saeed. You of all people should know that. She knows him. What? You don't remember me? Am I so different from the little girl in the schoolyard who used to push you in the mud? Oh. This is not my first interrogation by the Republican Guard. This is where they burned me with acid. They pierced my hands with a drill. I'm not going to tell you anything. Don't hurt her. Then I'm going to hurt no. you. No. I won't like no. you anymore if you do. You have a bullet wound. I was a soldier. Alex, who is he? This 
is weird. I'm bored. Can I take Vincent to the beach? Um, I'll take you later, man. I'm in the middle of something. But there's nothing to do around. Well, you gotta figure out stuff to do, know what I'm saying? Tick, 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 tick. You gotta find a way to entertain yourself. You claim there were others? More than 40, yes. Then why are you alone? I left them. Why? And Nadia. You left her too? She wasn't on the plane. She's dead. Oh, he didn't kill her, did he? I'm not gonna be happy about that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't know you. Hey, Jack! Hurley's all worked up about something. I know. Comes what is it? What's he done? Welcome to the first and hopefully <gasps> last <laughs> island open. I was wondering what he found. He found golf clubs? It's a music box, but it's broken. Has been for a long time. It was a gift from my love for our anniversary. You mean Alex? Robert. I'm fairly good with mechanical things. I need my hands. To... What is she gonna do? You don't need to do that. What is she doing? But then he's late. This is a problem, man. Yeah. I mean, I know what I'd do, but it's got to be your call. OK. Give me a seven iron. Got it. <laughs> ah, you think they're talking about something important. Heads up over there. <laughs> no chance. Don't blow it. You won't get anywhere near us. Hey, Doc! Oh. Hey, there you are. Oh, God, he's annoying. Nearly two months we survived here. Two months before. Your distress signal, the message I heard, you said it killed them all. They were the carriers. Who were the carriers? The others. What others? What is the Black Rock? Have you seen other people on this island? No. But I hear them. You think I'm insane? I do. But it's understandable. I think you've been alone for too long. Yeah. Some things can be fixed. <gasps> really acting crazy now, I think. Thank you. You have to stay. It's not safe. Not safe? What's not safe? You need me. You can't leave. Thank you. We've heard that before. Come here. Check this out. Come here. Let me. Do me. You crazy bitch. Leave me alone. Put the gun yeah. down, Daniel. Oh. oh no, he shoots him. Go! And then he shot me. Oh, that's where the wound came from. When I shot him. But you loved him. He was sick. Sick. He took them. One after the other. I had no choice. They were already lost. You killed them. What would have happened if we were rescued? I couldn't let that happen. I won't. I'm not sick. To talk to. To touch. You 
will find me in the next life, if not in this one. Said? What? The writing on the back of Nadia's uh. photograph. He's going to take her back with the group, even though I think she's, maybe she'll come out of it. That was a good episode. I'm really a little bit confused. Um, did Saeed really meet this person on the other side of the island? And why would she go back when she was saying she didn't want him to go and she wants to be around people? But she was around people, but she killed them. But he said, come back with me and she didn't want to. I'm anxious to see if this was, um, like a, a hallucination or a dream or something, or is she really there? It's weird. It's the one that left that message. I don't know. He finds this, this, he's sitting alone on the, on the beach. Okay. He's away from everybody else because he didn't want to go, you know captain interrogator on them so he looks over and he sees something and then it's this it's coming from the sea into the woods and he follows it and then there she is like I just don't make any sense that's why I think it might have been in his mind but now he hears we just ended with him hearing the whispers she said she heard whispers he was an interrogator. Um, the lady that that he saw that has some information about some bombing that happened, she wouldn't give up any information. I don't know why. But he ends up visiting her and they have this relationship. They knew each other in school way back when. And, and then he shoots his superior officer because he's trying to release her before she gets executed. And he finds out, so he has to shoot him. And then he shoots himself in the leg. That's where the wound came from. And hopefully, he said she was dead. But then he said, you know, something like that was seven years ago. And he keeps hoping that maybe she's not dead. So he really doesn't know. He's assuming she might be dead, and that's what, that's why he said that. On a lighter note, in between all this with Saeed, which was a great backstory at the beginning of one, I'm sure, you know, like I said, I know we're going to get more answers and stuff because I'm still like, but what about this? What about that? Um, on a lighter note, Hurley <laughs> found golf clubs, and then he needed the pole and he got a shirt or shorts or something made a little flag and they're playing golf to keep them distracted to give them something to do um that was that was a nice little moment where everybody could kind of not think about being rescued not being rescued being hungry the hypochondriac that has a rash hives and he's like hives but but it's spreading like have you never heard of hives before <laughs> you'd be fine so it got everybody's mind off of whatever they were dealing with at the moment um walt the little boy um wanted to go off with mr Locke. his dad had said no earlier but then his dad got into the golf game and um Walt took off and I was I was gonna say what about the little boy and then we saw Mr. Locke throwing the knife and then there he was so he's with Mr. Locke and he's teaching him how to throw the knife Michael's not gonna like that he's gonna take it out on Mr. Locke somehow even though his, he was playing golf and he didn't notice his son wandered off again I'm gonna need him to get his shit together pay attention you could have at least given your son your turn. They said it's your turn, Michael, to play golf. He should have said, okay, I want, my son's going to take my spot. He wanted to play, but instead he was like, you know, we'll talk later. I'll talk to you later. I don't know. So he's playing golf. So he took off. I don't blame him. But he's with Mr. Locke, so he's fine. That was a good episode. Who else's backstory do we need? 
Curly's. Uh, we didn't see Claire. We didn't see the pregnant lady um, this time. Sawyer came around at the very end. So I think he's trying to integrate with the group a little bit. He's trying to make an effort, even though he feels like everybody kind of looks at him like side-eyed. But they do, because he, that's how he portrayed himself. So he's got to get back into some trust and good graces with everybody. So, you know, just don't piss people off in general. And don't be so cocky and, you know. So I think, I think that'll, that'll progress and, and be good. I want to know the brother and sister's backstory as well. She seems really uppity, so I bet they came from money. Oh, Michael's. Michael and the little boys. Like, I don't know how the mom ended up with just him, and then he didn't know about his dad. So that's, yeah. So we've got a lot more backstories to get, and then I know we'll build on them. But was this woman, Danielle, real? That's my question. And I won't know until we revisit. I, I wonder if he'll show back up at the at the camp with their, you know, with everybody else, and say, "Hey, I found the woman's boy." You know, they're going to be like, "Mm-hmm." And then if he remembers where he was, go back and like there will be nothing there, or she'll be there, like one or the other. Then it'll be verified either it was real or not. And, and, and until then, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking forward to the rest of the the rest of the season and see what happens. Um, I know I've got a lot of seasons to get through, but at least we're doing two um, episodes a week now on Mondays and Tuesdays, so it'll get us through a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching with me, and until the next video and the next time, bye.